There's debate over a new bill that aims to give some funding to mental health services for young kids and their caretakers. Joining us to talk more about it and the controversy is Dan Haar. He is the senior editor and columnist at Hearst Connecticut Media. Thanks so much for being here, Dan. Great to be here. So there's a lot of debate over this bill and specifically the language that's being used to represent mothers. Can you tell us what this controversy is all about? Yeah, the bill itself is not at all controversial. It just helps steer federal money to people who need it for mental health. Mm -hmm. Pregnant people or pregnant mothers or and small children. Uh, so that's not the controversy. The controversy is over the fact that coming out of the Human Services Committee, they changed or put in the language that it applies to pregnant persons. Okay. Pregnant persons. And so Robin Porter, the state representative from New Haven, during the debate, brought up an amendment in the committee that said, no, 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 I am not a pregnant person. I am a mother. Don't take away my identity as a mom. And let's call this expectant mothers. Okay. And this debate took an hour. Right? Wow. Now, okay. it, it, because of course there are people who have babies who don't identify as women. It may be unusual, but that's the law is intended to include everyone. Okay. But the backlash was from the largely, from Republicans and from the largely black and Hispanic uh, members of the committee. This is the Appropriations Committee, so there's 50 members. They voted almost entirely, with one exception, against Jillian Gilchrist's original language, which said pregnant persons. The, the overwhelmingly white liberal faction of the Democratic Party voted to say pregnant persons. This is a dangerous debate. You think it's uh, something that uh, creates broader problems? Yes, I do. For I, the Democrats? Th yes, I do. Democratic leadership, and I, and I, I spoke to the majority leader, uh, uh, he, Rojas, he does not believe it's a problem. I believe that the forces of Donald Trump in federal election, in the, in the presidential election, use things like this to say, see, this is what the woke left wants you to be and think. And that's okay. a dangerous thing, in my view. Okay, so there are also other bills in the state legislature right now that are focused on housing. Governor Lamont's making a big push for affordable housing. Is anything going to get done? Well, the affordable housing people don't think Governor Lamont is making a push for affordable housing. He's making a push for workforce housing. They're saying that's not good enough because that's the housing that's being built anyway. Hmm. So there are a number of bills. The big, the big bills that we did last year, that we debated last year, are not coming up this year. But there are a number of smaller bills, including a voucher program that would even out the cost of the, the value of vouchers such that people who get Section 8 and state vouchers for apartments would be able to go to the suburbs. Another one is a fund of $50 million that would help towns and give them an incentive to build more affordable housing. Another is uh, $20 million to help with homeless. Okay. So lots of bills. They're hanging in the fire. Okay. Dan Har, thank you for being here. Dan Har writes about politics for Hearst Connecticut Media. You can always read his columns on ctinsider.com, also in the New Haven Register, Connecticut Post, Middletown Press, and the other local Hearst newspapers. Thanks. All right.